Hi and welcome. My name's Christine. If you happened upon this channel and you're not quite sure what you're doing here, maybe it's to find hope. The purpose of this channel is to share my hope, other people's hope, and to give you and equip you with tools that you can overcome your own journeys, whether it's PTSD, PMES, everyday trauma, or just discouragement. These are tools that can help you for life. The problems that we have become exactly that. They're just problems. They don't transform into what it is that we really need to encourage us to overcome, which is turning our problems into a challenge. In order to turn our problem into a challenge, we need to identify what is the problem. Is it my mindset? Is it the people in my life? Is it discouragement? Is it a lack of knowledge? What is the problem? As soon as you identify the components of that problem, it then becomes a challenge because then you are empowered to overcome your challenge. So when we talk on this channel, we're not going to be talking about these huge monumental problems. We're actually going to be making them a little bit smaller into bite-sized pieces and to talk about them so that we can identify what is making up that problem? What are the components of it so that we can turn this problem into a challenge? Today, what I wanna to talk about is being diagnosed. Being diagnosed is not a problem in itself. It's actually part of making something into a challenge. Understanding that certain things that we go through affect how our brain chemistry works, and then we, it leads us to be diagnosed with a brain uh, imbalance, a chemical imbalance, that's great news. That right there takes it from a problem and puts it into the challenge category. We need to know where it is that we're starting. And there are a lot of evaluations out there. Dr. Daniel Amen has one, which is talk, uh, talks about knowing the type of your brain. Um, then there's another 16personalities.com. These are great tools that I use in my own life. Now, when you get diagnosed, many people lose hope right away because they think of it more like a death sentence. And it's not a death sentence. It's exactly what I said. It's something that allows it from being some unknown problem into a challenge. So refuse to give up hope. That's step number one. Refuse to give up hope. It is not hopeless. Even if you're told by other people even if they have a badge, even if they're a parent, even if they have, no matter what their credentials are, don't let anybody steal your hope. Number two, find those overcomers in your environment, your community, your church, wherever, who believe in you and believe that it's possible and are willing to become part of your community. The third thing is to start to take in the good and let go of negative influences. Now you might say, well, how do I do that? Well, that's going to take some self-awareness. What makes you feel good? Not the five minute kind of good. Not that, oh, I love this coffee, it's so good, and then I crash right after, or I love this sugary soda, and then I crash after. Not that kind of good. The good that helps you to grow continuously. So fruit is that kind of good if we're talking about food. Water is that kind of good if we're talking about beverages. Those are good things that reproduce good, not reproducing bad. So when it comes to music that you listen to, what are the lyrics that you're listening to? What is going into your ears? When you put on the TV, what is it that's going into your eyes? In your environment, the people that you invite to become part of your community, what is going into your ears and your eyes with them? What's coming out of your mouth? That's a really good tell as far as what happens with all the influences because what comes in comes out. Are you speaking hopelessly? Are you pessimistic? Are you looking at the world as though there's, there's no possibility of anything good coming out of it? I want to jump over to some of the causes. A lot of people, they get stuck because they don't understand. They don't consider themselves to have gone through any major trauma. So if you've been diagnosed with PMES, well, pause. Good news is there, there could be a medical component. 
many people have been discovered to have some sort of food allergy to gluten or dairy or wheat or a number of the other things that we can be allergic to. Um, even having too much sugar or caffeine, things like that, that are not good for our system, the natural structure of our system. So finding out that uh, gluten tolerance, a good friend of mine named Todd was able to overcome his seizures that way. Now, sometimes we still will have bad habits, even if there is a medical component to it, there are still ways that we may be underdeveloped. There are might there might be some things that we've been holding on to, whether it be unforgiveness, maybe we've become bitter, maybe we've become, become pessimistic because we've lost all hope. Whatever it is, we all have room to grow. We are all underdeveloped in all areas, not all areas, but potentially all areas of our life. I know for me, at least, I guess I was speaking for myself. There were all areas of my life where I saw the ability to grow in. So these things happen for two different reasons. Underdevelopment just means that we've either gone through uh, an upbringing where we had lack of nurture due to the inability of a parent or a guardian to nurture us, or two, we've gone through some sort of trauma which prevents us from even receiving because we can't trust, or there could be a combination of the two. So again, there's hope. There are three tools that you can do. Let's go back over. One, refuse to accept hopelessness. Two, get people in your community that are going to support you, not just anybody, specifically overcomers. Three, start a practice of taking in the good every day and letting go of the things that are negative influences in your life. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you appreciate the information, please subscribe, uh, hit the like button, share. More importantly, if you know somebody who needs this, please share. If it's beneficial to you, I'd love to hear you, hear from you. And we're going to be putting out, uh, this channel is going to be putting out new videos of hope, encouragement, and education. Be well.